Yeah, so, so, so this is, uh, so it's a little board, um, and then this is a sensor on here that just, see, this, um, this pH probe um, has at the end, see this little bubble, um, and then there's some wires running up in the inside. Um, and then that measures, we talked about pH being the, the hydrogen. So yeah. this, this measures the amount of hydrogen that's in a liquid that you put it in. So uh, like 85 pH dendrite. That's right, yeah, yeah. You ready? So we want to make sure there's enough in there so that's good. it can be read by the sensor. So, so let's, yeah, just shake it off a little bit. How you do this sensor. Okay. Oh, look. So okay. It, it takes a little bit of time to uh, no, actually, so to, to read. So yes, it's gone down quite quickly, okay. but it'll keep it'll keep changing for a little bit of time. So my my thing was correct between four and two. So what you're hearing is the pH value um, being converted into a scale that is mostly based on a pitch. The lower values, right now it's in the rinse, which is about a 6.34. If we move that into something really acidic, like the vinegar, you can hear it go down. It sort of increases in volume. We've got, um, with this one, we've got sort of a polarity-based scale going where it gets kind of and more distorted as it goes towards the very acidic or the very base. So we have the highest is three. Which one? And what number? Four two. So and lowest. Very acid. And what's half of fourteen? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at that. Hear how the sound changes. Thank you. 
page of 719. That's a big difference. What do you think happened? The acidic, all that acid that was in that mixture we made was absorbed by the soil. The Nexus is an integration technology that we've built for um, Prosperity for All that enables us to connect different things to one another. And in this case, um, what I have here is I can show you a way that we've been using it um, for some sensors that you might find in a, in a science lab. Um, our hope is to, um, is to be able to use the Nexus to make um, learning environments like science labs more inclusive. So what we think of in an educational context for the applications of this is um, a kind of multimodal science lab experience where you might have groups of students um, dealing with common sets of sensors and because the client side doesn't need to know where the sensor is data is coming from, it could be sensors that were adjacent to it, it could be remote sensors being streamed over the internet. So you're dealing with kind of a common set of inputs and then depending on the, the preferences or the learning styles of any one learner, um, they might want to see that as a plain dashboard implementation. They could reinforce that with something like a sonification, um, like we saw with the guessing game that we played with Miles and Callum. Um, they can see visualizations like this and some of the eventual goal of the kind of work that we're doing here, which is um, work that feeds into our open education activities and flow is this idea of one-to-one -one learner customization. So someone will want to choose the presentation that works best for them and eventually with the, the tools that we're building, not only will content, content authors be authoring multimodal content within these tools for consumption by learners, learners themselves will be making custom visualizations and custom sonifications and custom sonification, you know, presentations of data that are meaningful to them um, that they can share and remix with other learners. And I'd like to illustrate um, some recent work that we've done uh, with these sensors. Uh, one is which, one is to, um, to do some visualization of the state of the Nexus, and then the other is to support um, dynamic configuration of the Nexus as it's running. So what we have is we have um, two sensors currently connected. We have a pH sensor and we have an electrical conductivity sensor. And this, what we're seeing on the screen here, this visualization, is showing the objects that are currently um, running inside the Nexus. And what I can do is I can expand this section of the, uh, of the components to see the current model value. For each of our sensors, so in this case the pH and the conductivity sensor, we have a pair inside the nexus um, that the sensors send their values to. So as the sensor updates, it relays the model via WebSockets, and then that, that updates um, the, uh, cork, the uh, peer component inside the nexus. And then we have a component on the left here that is called the collector and that one is receiving model updates of all of the connected sensors. So this is the sort of central place where the, where the values are, um, are collected together. We have uh, visualizations, sonifications and other presentations. They can listen to this collected model and then react to um, sensors to show their values and to allow uh, users to interact with them. And then we have a third component here, in this case called send P8 sensor. And this one is relating the P8 sensor um, peer model value onto the collector one. And these uh, peers are, are constructed dynamically um, depending on what is connected to the, the nexus. So for example, if I, if I unplug the P8 sensor, then what we will see happen is that the, the, the peer for the P8 sensor has been, has been removed. And likewise, if I unplug the, the, the electroconductivity sensor, we see that that one has also been removed. 
And then if I plug them back in again, then we will see the pair for the, for the sensor being added, and then the one that does the wiring, the same one is also is, 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 is created in response to that. So we have configured within the Nexus, we have some, some recipes that say, if this collection of peers is present, then react by constructing this, this other component. And then whenever those, that situation is not present anymore, um, we tear down um, and we undo the things that we constructed. So that way, whenever we, we have the collector and then we plug in one of the sensors, we have a rule that says, okay, if there's a collector and there's one of these types of sensors, I'm gonna create something that connects them together. And then when that situation changes, the sensor is removed, then we remove the component that did the connecting. So this way we can dynamically um, react um, to um, the addition or, re or removals of peers from the Nexus. I'm Alan Harnum. I'm a software developer at the Inclusive Design Research Center. Um, and I work on a whole bunch of different projects related to the Flow project, Flexible Learning for Open Education. I'm Simon Bitts. I'm a software developer at the Inclusive Design Research Center in Toronto, and I'm the lead developer of the Nexus. My name's Callum and Max. And we like doing things. Me too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> Give them a round of applause. Uh,